right, today we're going to talk about measuring angles. So the first thing, an angle is formed by two rays with the same end point. Okay? So the rays are the sides of the angle and the end point is the vertex. So here I have angle uh, ray AC and ray AB and they're going to form this angle. Okay? To name an angle, we can do it in three ways. Okay, uh, a point on each ray and then the vertex. So angle B, A, C and angle C, A, B. We can name it by a number inside of it. So here we have a number, so this could be angle one. Or we can name it by its vertex, angle A. Now we can only name it by its vertex if there aren't any other angles that are uh, associated with it. So, for example, if I had another ray coming off of this and I had a point D here, I can no longer name that by angle A. The reason is, is because then it doesn't tell the reader which angle are you actually working with. So, I would like you guys to really get in the habit of naming it with three letters. So, remember it goes side, vertex, side. Side, vertex, side. So we want to make sure that we understand how to name angles. It's very important. Right. So, what are two other names for angle one? Well, we got to find angle one. So here's angle one right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to name that uh, two other ways. Now, first of all, I noticed that here at C, I have multiple angles coming out from C. So I can't just use the letter C. So I have to name it by side, vertex, side. So that tells me that this is going to be angle B, C, D, and angle D, C, B. Okay, so I'm coming here and going back. Okay. What are two other names for E, C, B? Okay, E, C, B. Okay, so... I can start with the other side. Instead of E, I'm going to start with B. So angle B, C, E. And then now I can use the number inside. Angle 2. Okay. All right. So here we have a uh, protractor. And we're going to kind of use this protractor. So protractor postulate. And our and your book, it's postulate one seven, but most people call it the protractor postulate. Consider a uh, ray QP and a point R on one side of QP. Every ray of the form QR can be paired one to one with a real number from zero to one eighty. All that's saying is kind of like the ruler postulate. What we're going to do is we're going to take this ray QP here and we're going to put it at zero. So we're going to put it at zero. Now what's going to happen is as this ray comes out, it will be associated with a number on this. Now, if I'm reading from this side over, I'm going to use the outside numbers. So this would be an angle of 120. Uh, if I was coming from this side over here, I'd use the inside numbers. So that's kind of using that protractor and that protractor postulate here. Uh, the measure is the absolute value of the difference of the real numbers paired with QP and QR. So you just have to look here. So what they're saying here is I could have used 180 and 60 and said, oh, 60 minus 180 is negative 120. The absolute value of that is 120. The nice thing is protractors, if you actually have a physical protractor, it does have the two sets of, of numbers, so they'll give you that absolute value. Types of angles. So the first one is acute. An acute angle is an angle whose measurement is between 0 and 90. Okay, here's an example of an acute. The next one is a right angle. A right angle has a measurement of 90 degrees. Okay. And you will notice here that this little symbol here, this right angle symbol, you will see that when we have a right angle. It just kind of reinforces that. An obtuse angle. Obtuse angles are greater than 90, but less than 180. Okay. 
Right. Here's an example of an obtuse. And then we have a straight angle. A straight angle is an angle whose measurement is 180. So it creates a line. Okay? So that's straight angle. All right, so here's our diagram. So it says, what are the measures of KAB? So let's look at KAB. So we're going to be here, KAB. So we're right here, right here. So I'm going to go, I'm on the, going from uh, this right side, I'm measuring it here. So I'm going to look at the inside numbers here. So I come up here, it's 110 degrees, 110 degrees. Okay. Now I'm going to look at NAB. Well, here's N. There's A, and B comes out to the side. Okay. So I'm now going to measure it from here. Okay. Oh, looks like it's 90 degrees. And then DAB. I'm here like this. DAB. I'm going to find the measurement here. This angle is now 1020. 20 degrees. Now it asks me to classify each angle as acute, right, obtuse, or straight. So this is greater than 90 but less than 180, so this is obtuse. This is equal to 90, so it is right. And this is less than 90, so it's acute. Now what angle would be a straight angle. So if I look down here and I want to see a straight angle here, so there's my straight angle. So my straight angle would be BAF or FAB. Right? Uh, oh. uh, congruent angles. Angles with the same measurement are congruent. So these two right here are congruent angles. If angle V is congruent to the measure of angle U, then angle V is, I'm sorry, so if the measure of V equals the measure of U, so that's telling me that their numbers are the same, then angle V is congruent to angle U. And if angle V is congruent to angle U, then the measure of angle V is equal to the measure of angle U. Okay. Now, one of the things that I want to talk about before we ask this question is, you notice here that there are two um, arcs here attaching these. When you see that, that indicates that these are congruent. So if I had a, an angle here, and I have another angle here, and I had two arcs here and two arcs here, this tells me that they are congruent. Now, in some texts, you will see a a uh, hash mark through that, or you'll see one arc. So you'll see an arc and then two hash marks. So that way it just indicates kind of the same thing with segments. It's just saying that those are congruent. Okay. So if angle V is 65 degrees, what is the measure of angle U? Well, they are congruent, which means they are also equal, so it is also 65 degrees. All right. Here we're going to have the angle addition postulate. So if point D is in the interior of CAB, then the measure of angle CAD plus the measure of angle DAB is going to equal the measure of angle CAB. So notice here what we're seeing is the sum of the parts adds up to the whole. So this angle right here and this angle are going to add up to the entire angle. All right. It's very important that you understand that, how to um, kind of come up with that. So over here, we have an example of that and how we would use algebra. So I'm not sure if you can uh, quite see this. I will write it a little bit larger here. It says, given the measure of YMC, so this entire angle, YMC, is 170 degrees. Find the measure of AMC. Now, I don't, I'm not sure if you can read it. It's kind of tough to, 
to see. I'm going to come over here and rewrite this. This is uh, 5x uh, plus 19, and this is 5x plus 1. So I'm going to take these, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them together. 5x plus 19 plus 5x plus 1, and I'm going to set that equal to this angle, 170 degrees. Now I'm going to simplify. So I have 5x plus 5x, that gives me 10x. 19 plus 1 is 20, equals 170. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to solve this. I'm going to subtract off my 20. I get 10x equals 150. Divide by 10, divide by 10, x equals 15. Now, that's nice to know, but I'm not done. So this only gives me the value of x. It does not answer the question. The question was find angle AMC. So angle AMC is this one right here. So now angle AMC equals 5x plus 1. I'm going to need to take that value of x and plug it in. So this becomes 5 times 15 plus 1. Well, 5 times 15 is 75 plus 1, 76 degrees. So this angle right here is 76 degrees. So we need to be able to use that angle addition postulate to find that because I have the whole angle, I don't have the smaller piece. Oh, joke time. So what do you get if you cross a dentist and a boat? You get the tooth fairy. <laughs> and what happened to the frog's car when the parker, parking meter expired? It got towed away. So there's uh, kind of a brief topic about uh, talking about angle measurements.